Hey guys, what's up Capricorn? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading, so just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Wow, some of you may be getting your dream home. Alright, also if you guys want to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Alright. Yeah, it's not bad, and it's just a little stuck, like kind of something maybe waiting in wait mode, but very happy energy. You got like everything from superstardom to dream house to dream marriage relationship, but kind of stuck mode. It's almost like it's like hanging there, like it's how the fuck would I describe it? The energy is like it's still up on a shelf, but it's there. It's there. All right, we need a future for Capricorn. Sometimes it gets a little difficult <laughs> trying to put like the energetic feeling into words. All right, what's going on? Queen of Swords, the Ten of Swords. Well, you're taking no bullshit. Could be dealing with the air sign or have it in your chart. Don't hold on to anger, but you're cutting something out here. And it looks like you're pretty sure of what you're doing. Um very independent it's almost like at this time like you may not even be open to it at all I'm not sure it may have caused a lot of pain or conflict or separation all right so whatever it is you got the queen of swords and the ten of swords it's like badass energy hearts locked up in a cage kind of like i got me and it looks like something that you're cutting ties with we're ending with the seven of wands so you're kind of Got some walls up around something, or vice versa. Show me this Queen of Swords, please, for Capricorn. Oh, shoot. Queen of Pentacles, that's your energy. I don't want that many, but show me this Queen of Swords, please. Thanks. The Emperor could be dealing with the Aries, but damn, you're in a very, like, take charge mode. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. The Lovers, Gemini, Energy. You're keeping a lot to yourself. You may have a choice between people. You may have somebody on your mind. Whatever this is, even if this isn't around a person, you're just in a really take charge mojo. If it's around a person, you could kind of be up in the air. You could have a choice, not really sure where things are standing. But it feels like there's something here that like you're feeling intuitively and very strongly about, very connected to, whether it's a person or just yourself, a situation. Kind of like not knowing where things are right now. But it looks, um, you got really like a cool energy going on. It's like a, I don't know. Um, just very, very like, I got this type of energy. Show me this Ten of Swords, please, for Capricorn. Six of Wands. Which is interesting because you may be kind of, I don't know, ending one thing in order to move forward for something else that you want. With the Six of Wands, this could be anything from a raise, a promotion, or hell, just for your happiness. But it feels like you're keeping a whole lot of that in, whether it is a decision or, you know, just kind of maybe something you're going back and forth with in your mind. But with the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, there's definitely some type of choice that you're making here. But it feels like for some, in order to achieve that, like you have to make a choice here. Or you have to figure some things out. But it's kind of like getting getting to that point where you're moving towards it. Could have kind of been in contemplation mode. 
Yeah, the Nine of Cups, whatever this is, whoever this is, it makes you incredibly happy. Could be like superstar status with the Six of Wands and the Star. You definitely could be seen like front and center, or there's just something here that you're really hoping for, really wishing for. Show me the Seven of Wands. The outcome for Capricorn, please. The Seven of Wands can be a defensive energy, but um, not hugely, but it kind of feels like it may come around this choice. Like, even if it's because I see the Ten of Swords, so for some, something may have to may have to come to a close like a chapter may have to close so it may be kind of like blocking off one of those paths in order to move towards it you have the six of swords so you could be moving you could be traveling but you're moving towards something here yeah the empress is about to pay off in a huge way whether this is financially i'll get to that in a second but you're finding some type of balance here and you're really coming off on top moving traveling or just finding like if you were starting up a business or uh you know trying to find a job something like that you're doing something that's creating this energy of bringing that flow back to you and the fact that the empress is there you're really standing like in your power in your zone what is the um give me one more because you may have felt like something back here wasn't giving you what you were putting into it. Like you weren't getting your highest value in return. The Eight of Swords. So it's going to make you nervous. But that's because of this Queen of Swords energy. And the Eight of Swords, I mean, that's just, you know, that's worry. That's fear. And sometimes because it looks like, especially for some, you may be closing one chapter. You know, that definitely makes sense. But the Eight of Swords is just anxiety. It's self-imprisonment of the mind. It's fear. The Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Tower. It's something here is going to work out for you. And I don't think you see it. It's like it, it, there's this balance that comes. And then there's just change and progress that also follows behind it numerically. And there's a lot of healing. With the Four of Swords, that's like feeling at peace. You see, like, we started with this energy of heart down here in the cage. I got to take control, which is great. It looks like it works out for you. But then by the end of it, you're able to kind of, you know, heal and relax and feel. You could be, like, working very career-oriented oriented, or just you're working towards something. And it feels like it's pretty groundbreaking. If you do kind of get nervous, get anxiety, meditate, because the Four of Swords can also be like a card of meditation. But whatever you're working on, it's giving you back what you're putting into it with the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. This is an awesome ass energy. That's like hard work paying off. All right, Capricorn, I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information below as well. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.